The Frog Prince Once upon a time, there lived a king. He had a beautiful daughter. She liked to play with her golden ball by the pond near the forest. One day, the princess accidentally let the ball fall into the pond by mistake. Oops! Oh, no! Splash! She tried to find her ball in the pond, but the water was too deep. The princess began to cry very loudly. An ugly frog sitting on a rock by the pond heard her. <laughs> oh, now what will I do? I have lost my golden ball forever. <laughs> what is the matter, princess? Why are you crying? Oh, I am crying because my golden ball fell into the pot. Do not cry. I can help you. Hmm? How can this ugly frog help me? Hmm. What will you give me for finding your golden ball? I will give you whatever you want, dear frog. I will give you my jewels. I will even give you the golden crown I am wearing. I do not want your jewels or your crown, but promise me this. Let me sit by you and eat with you, and then you must kiss me too. Promise me. Then I will go down into the pond and get your ball. Oh, if I must, yes, I promise you all that you wish. Now, please hurry. Oh, my golden ball. Thank you, frog. The princess was very happy. She picked up the ball and hurried away. Wait, wait. Take me with you. I cannot run as fast as you can. But the princess pretended not to hear him. She ran back to her castle and closed the door. Hmm. The frog is talking nonsense. The forest is the right place for a frog. Life in the castle is not for him. The next day, the frog hopped up to the castle door. The frog knocked on the door. Oh, princess, princess, open the door for me. Oh, oh no, it is the ugly frog. Make him go away. The servant went to the door and told the frog to leave immediately. She slammed the door in the poor frog's face. Princess! Princess! Open the door for me. Keep the promise you made to me. If you don't open the door, I will cry here day and night until you do. Open the door! The king noticed that his daughter was frightened by something. My child, what are you afraid of? Is there something scary outside? No, it is nothing. It is only a disgusting frog. She then told her father how the frog had helped her. Dear child, you must keep your promise to the frog. A promise is a promise. Go and let him in. Lift me up beside you, princess. What? No, I don't want to. Dear, a promise is a promise. You should not make a promise if you do not intend to keep it. The princess did not want to go near the frog, but she could not disobey her father. Now, push your golden plate nearer to me, 
I am hungry, and I want to eat together with you. The frog enjoyed all of the food, but the princess could hardly eat because she did not want to be near the ugly frog. Dear princess, it is time for you to kiss me. If you do not, I will tell your father. Oh, no! The princess grabbed the frog and threw him against the wall. Now you will be quiet, you ugly frog. Oh! oh. The frog was very still. Oh, is he dead? Oh my, what have I done? The princess was frightened. She picked up the ugly frog very carefully, but the frog still did not move. The princess felt very sorry for him. Oh, he just wanted to be my friend. What have I done to this poor frog? And she kissed the frog as she cried. Suddenly, with a bright flash of light, the ugly frog turned into a handsome prince. Wow! You broke the spell! A long time ago, a wicked witch turned me into an ugly frog just because I did not like her. Only the kiss of a beautiful princess could save me. Thank you, dear princess. The princess was overjoyed at the change. In no time at all, the prince and the princess fell in love and were married. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs>